Okay, so this is a stack splint or a uh, tip protector. You just need the, the length of the finger. And well, I'm not going to use this right now. Just give me one finger. So I usually have them just bring it up higher. Like that. And just depending on if Dr. Bronstein wants this joint free, I'll just like put it on like that. And this would just be for like an amputation or if they just don't want to bang it on something. That's pretty much it. This is pretty much all you do. And then you can just kind of smooth these out, wait for it to dry, and then make sure they can flex their PIP. Yep. And I usually have them fold it up so gravity helps kind of push it down a little bit. And then sometimes I'll wrap this with Coban um, if it's going to fall off. Sometimes I don't. Um, in some circumstances, I'll use something else. Just keep like sometimes you may have to use this to put on the gauze. And you have to do it really quick because this will stretch out. We'll just do it on a different finger for now. Like if their finger is really injured or something, there's blood everywhere. I'll just put this on, like say that far. And you can twist it right here. I didn't do it long enough. And then you can just put it right back on. And you can go longer if you need to. And that's it. And then you just make sure it slides on and off pretty good. You cut these edges so they're nice and smooth. And uh, that's basically it. If they need any modifications, you can do that. That's it.